Hi everyone, and a very warm welcome from me, Muhammad Taufan Arahman. I'm a student of International Relations at the LSPR Communication and Business Institute. So in this video, I'm also a student under guidance of Sir Charles Bonar Sirait in the subject of public speaking and presentation skills. So now on, I would like to tell you something about climate change. Start with a simple question. What is climate change? So climate change describes as a change in the average conditions, such as temperature and rainfall in a region over a long period of time. For example, 20,000 years ago, much of the United States was covered in the glaciers. In the United States today, we have a warmer climate and a fewer glaciers. So global climate change refers to the average of long-term changes over the entire Earth. This include the warming temperatures and the changes in the precipitation, as well as the effect of the Earth's warming, such as um, rising sea levels, shrinking mountain glaciers, ice melting as at a faster rate than usual in Greenland, Antarctica, and the Arctic, and changes in the flower and plant blooming times. Earth climate, Earth climate has constantly been changing even long before a human came into the picture. However, um, the scientists have observed unusual changes recently. For example, the Earth's average temperature has been increasing much more quickly than they would expect over the past 150 years. So how much is Earth's climate changing right now? So this is the graph change in the annual global temperatures compared to the average of global annual temperatures from the 1880s to 1899. Some parts of Earth are warming faster than others. But on average, a global air temperatures near the Earth's surface have gone up for about 2 Fahrenheit degrees in the past 100 years. So in fact, the past 5 years have been the warmest 5 years in the centuries. Many people, including scientists, are concerned about this warming. As the Earth's climate continues to warm, the intensity and the amount of rainfall during a storm, such as hurricanes, is expected to increase. Droughts and heat waves are also expected to become more intense as the climate warms. When the whole Earth's temperature changes by 1 or 2 degrees, that change can have a big impact on the health of the Earth's plants and animals too. So what's the exact causes? of climate change. I'll give you a simplified animation. This is the animation of the greenhouse effect. So there are a lot, lots of factors that contribute to Earth's climate. However, scientists agree that Earth has been getting warmer in the past 50 to 100 years due to human activities. Certain gases in the Earth's atmosphere block heat from escaping, so this is called the greenhouse effect. These gases keep the Earth warm like the glass in the greenhouse keeps the plants warm. Human activities such as burning fuel to power factories, cars, and buses are changing the natural greenhouse. So this change changes cause the atmosphere to trap more heat than it used to, leading to a warmer Earth. Does what we do matter? I would like to say yes, because when human activities create a greenhouse gases, Earth warms. So this matter because oceans, land, air, plants, animals, and energy from the sun all have an effect on one to another. So the combined effects of all these things give us our global climate. In other words, 
Earth's climate function like one big connected system. So I think that's all for my explanation regarding to the climate change. I hope this can remind us to do more steps to save the Earth. And my name is Taufan. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.